Hey guys, Genkia87 here. And basically I wanted to talk about one of my first few online experiences, if not one of my first online experiences with video games. Um, so basically in 2010 of Christmas I got my PlayStation 3 and as you know PlayStation had the whole, you know, free online thing and that meant that, you know, unlike the 360, you didn't have to pay for a membership, and basically, as long as you had a decent connection, you were able to play online. So there were two games that I played that took up most of my online game time back then. It was Call of Duty Black Ops and Little Big Planet 2, and I played both so fucking religiously, you basically never saw me on anything else. If you knew me back then, you basically only saw me on either Little Big Planet 2 or 1, depending on how early you met me but mostly two when I got that and Call of Duty Black Ops. But the thing was is I was actually very hesitant about Black Ops when I first played it I'd say in the January period because it kinda went something like this. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. My brother was the one who got Call of Duty Black Ops and I would occasionally borrow it but I wasn't I was not good at it at first. I was fucking garbage at the multiplayer. Like I couldn't shoot to save my life, and I played the game in the complete wrong way. I was just fucking terrible at it. And I'll never forget the first time that someone from school asked me about it. I was like, hey man, you have Call of Duty Black Ops on PS3? And I was like, yeah, I have it. It's pretty uh, good, I guess. I'm not really good at it. It's like, hey man, you should add me on PlayStation. I'll, uh... I'll play you in a match. It's like, okay, I'll do like, whatever. And so what happened was, is we went into Nuketown and it was a 1v1. And let me tell you, I got fucking dominated. I was, there was no help in my ass. I was terrible at the fucking game. But it was this crucial moment when I realized I needed to get good at the game. And here, here's why. So as I'm getting whooped, my my friend, honestly, I don't even know if I could really call him a friend, he was kind of an asshole, was laughing his ass off saying, Hey Brandon, you want to know what the best part about this is? You're not even playing me. You're playing my little brother. <laughs> and I'm over here like, wow. You're really capitalizing on the fact that I don't play this game very often, that you had to fucking set me up to get fucked by somebody who, I don't know. It, it, it was just, it, it had me feeling some sort of way where it was like, now I feel like I need to get good at this game just to get back at him. So, I spent a decent wad of time playing Team Deathmatch, and it was this experimental phase. Um, I think what actually got me good at shooters in general was probably another game. I didn't play this game all that much, but it was a fun game. It was called Crisis 2. Um, for some reason that game attuned me to first person shooters in general because that was the first shooter that I actually got good at as far as online shooters go. And when I went on to, t uh, why did I, I almost said time splitters. I'm sorry, I'm looking at that game right now. Um, uh, I have the case in front of me. I was playing it earlier, but, uh, <laughs> um, basically, uh, it was the first game that got me attuned to shooters in general and Call of Duty in particular from this point in time, so. I went on to play Black Ops 1 again after I was done borrowing uh, Crisis 2 and all of a sudden, like nowadays, I'd probably look back at my gameplays and think I was doing average, at least if I had gameplays recorded and if I, obviously I didn't, I was broke as fuck, but um, I was doing okay at Black Ops and I was... I guess okay was godly to this person because he got fucking destroyed like a lot. He, he we would con he would constantly invite me to one v ones, whether it be quick scope, search and destroys. Uh, yeah, I used to quick scope at some point in time. It was in COD 4 and Black Ops 1. And uh, by the way, to, just to add on, um, I got COD 4 after I started getting into Black Ops. I basically bought all the COD games after I got into Black Ops online, but uh, yeah, um, he would keep 1v1ing me and he would lose pretty much all the time. Every once in a while he'd get lucky and win, but I think that was just me feeling bad for him and basically just letting him win because I didn't want to hear him bitch because he, he was really good at raging and honestly that was probably the only thing he was good at. But this started a period in time 
where I, I I don't know man I had so many all-nighters playing the original Black Ops uh, COD 4 Modern Warfare 2 um, World at War you know I, I, I played all these games prior or like before Black Ops I played all these games before and I only played the campaigns and whatnot but once I got into Black Ops during my PS3 days I actually ended up buying these games for PS3 because I had a one of those fat shitty 360s that red ringed a lot and I had them on there but I rebought them on the PS3 just so I could play them online and those are some glorious times man you have no idea how much fun I had just playing uh, uh, Call of Duty online and meeting new people and you know being part of clans which yeah at one point I used to be a part of like legitimate clans and it was just an overload of nostalgia but come nostalgia also means that there were some pretty iffy times as well and I'm about to elaborate on that you see Call of Duty was a really popular thing in my school and as we all know Call of Duty is one of those games where you don't necessarily need a gaming history to necessarily play like like there are people I know who call themselves gamers quote unquote who have never played any other game in their lifetime they probably either play NBA 2k Madden and COD and that's like they probably have like three games on their shelf that they play maybe Assassin's Creed you could probably throw in Assassin's Creed but there are mainstream people who also don't even really like Assassin's Creed all that much and I know that's surprising because Assassin's Creed is pretty fucking mainstream but uh yeah um People, I, I've added people in my school who would pretty much be like, why are you playing that game? It's all about, you know, the CODs. Get on here so you can get your ass whooped. And obviously, my average ass, who, at, the, at least average at the time, like I wasn't particularly super amazing at shooters at that point in time, but I was better than most of these COD people because, well, dude, like that's all they played, yet they haven't had any other experience with any other games, so they weren't necessarily special at it or anything. But, you know, they would ask me to get on the game, and I'd play, like, a match or two, and then I'd want to try to play another game, like, Little Big Planet. And it's like, dude, it's... Get, get back on COD. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? And it was just like, guys, I, I play more than COD. I mean, I have... I love this game, but I want to, you know, do other things. And then came the point in time where one of my, uh... I guess you could say ex-best friends got a PlayStation 3... And the first game they got with it was MW3. Now, in retrospect, I actually really enjoy Modern Warfare. I enjoyed Modern Warfare 3, and I do think it's a decent game now. But at that point in time, I, you probably would have heard from me that I thought it was fucking garbage. Because the thing is, is Modern Warfare 3 didn't have a lot of features that Black Ops had. It, I, it had the theater mode, and that was probably all that carried over. It didn't have custom emblems. It didn't have... Uh, um, it did not have, what the fuck am I thinking? Oh yeah, it didn't have, uh, combat training, there was no bots whatsoever. It was basically a reskin of MW2, and I guess that's not really a bad thing these days, and I, as much as I hate to admit it back then, I will tell you that I had probably a, a lot of fun times on MW3. It's, uh, it's probably the second most played COD game that I had. Uh, I played Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 3 roughly the same amount of days, which I believe was like 7-8 days. It's just a few hours shorter on MW3, and I prestiged just as much on both games, which I believe was about 8 times. But, um, yeah, so basically what this caused was is my friend... Uh, I guess my friend became a tryhard at the game, and... You know, I still... I still did pretty good against them. I'd win more than lost, but nothing says fun like getting spawn trapped in a dome and head glitching and having someone using assassin. And honestly, that's not the worst part because, you know, playing with them was still fun, even if he was a bit of a tryhard, but I think it was his brother who made it, made me basically want to quit COD altogether just because of how toxic, he, honestly, quite frankly, he still is toxic. Um... I would I would get I would be sick from school and I would be home playing Modern Warfare 3 and he'd be online conveniently. I'd like to assume he's either skipping school or 
I don't know, doing whatever the fuck he likes to do on a day where he doesn't have to go to school. And, you know, I remember he messaged me and we talked casually and we were both playing Modern Warfare 3, but we were not in the same session. I go to school the very next day and my friend says, yo, my brother just said he whooped you in a 1v1. Damn, man, that's, that's harsh. And I'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? You realize that I did not play with him, right? I, t I texted him, but I didn't play with him. And it caused this whole, what happened and what, 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 what really happened? And I, it, I guess I would like to call it the COD drama. They're like, there was so much COD drama in school and somehow I was getting suckered into it without any fucking second thought and it's funny because I've played matches with him and his brother because they would split screen because they didn't have their own PlayStation 3. My friend who I actually associated myself with he wasn't bad like again I said like as I said he was a tryhard but you know I could deal with it and you know I guess you know we were both competent when we fought each other but his brother was kinda bad like, if you call trying to camp in a corner with a shotgun being good at COD, then by all means. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not one of those who complains about camping, because camping doesn't even bother me, and that it can be a legit strategy if you're strategically holding a spot for a moment in time, just to strategically hold that spot for a moment in time, and nothing more, nothing less, but... Literally, all he did was sit in the corner with a shotgun, and every time I came around the corner, he would try to kill me. The word being, he would try to kill me and yeah he 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 wanted to talk shit about how he beat me in a 1v1 but he didn't quite do that if it never actually happened and in the matches that I did play him in he was kind of shite let's also not forget the fact that one time they were doing sniper he was doing a snipers only match against my brother and my brother was absolutely destroying him and then he got butt hurt and decided to use noob tubes and the next day when they were at school it was like oh I was trolling you bruh and it's like okay so you call fucking one-sided ass beatings that you obviously weren't gonna win so you busted out a grenade launcher to beat his ass trolling I call that being butt hurt I don't know about you guys but if you have to bust out a cheap weapon to win a match that you were losing one-sidedly, I call that being butthurt and going in the try-hard mode. If you think that's trolling, then by all means, you're probably part of the problem. But that's initially what suckered me out of uh, shooters at, for a while, was uh, the COD hype. Everyone was boosting about, you know, how good they were at COD and starting all this drama over it, and I just, I just wanted to play a fucking first-person shooter and have fun. Um, COD brought a lot of good memories, and it also brought in a lot of bad memories. Um, uh, I remember just so much shit started over quick scope matches, um, kill death ratios. Like my friends would complain so much about, "Hey man, your KD is looking a little low, Brandon. Maybe you want to create a new account." It's like, fam, I've had this account for years with all these trophies because you know I actually have platinum trophies. If you look at my profile, I have them. I worked for those. Do you really think that I want to get rid of my old account just because? Oh my KDR is on fleek. Oh, like who cares? I don't. I most certainly don't care. I simply play the game to play, and I just so happen to be good at God. So, it, it's uh, it's the terminology: you win some, you lose some, and people don't understand that sometimes. Um, the last straw for a while was Ghost. Ghost was bad, and there was this one friend of mine who, by the way, he literally stole someone in my family's copy of MW3 when the game initially came out, and would not like refuse to give it back. Um, <laughs> yeah, this guy used to fucking, he would complain about me being bad at the game, and he would, like, get Moabs, like, he literally had a, a fucking tally for every Moab he'd get, and he'd put it on his PlayStation profile, and he'd literally get Moabs, like, every fucking game. He was a, he's what I would call high-tier tryhardness, and he would say, oh, this game sucks, 
like because like he thought black ops 2 and ghost were bad because they weren't mw3 but regardless he still like went uber try hard mode in those games and he would get kim strike count he had a kim strike tally and i remember at that point i just deleted him as uh while everyone was playing call of duty ghost that's when i decided yeah, you guys have your COD, I'm gonna go play Soul Calibur 5. And that's when my fighting game craze started, and I had sort of another point in time where I was having a nostalgic period over games there, because Soul Calibur 5 was like another one of those Black Ops slash Little Big Planet 2 moments where I would have all-nighters just playing that game online, meeting new friends, and just doing absolutely fucking godly in it. Now, I know I wasn't godly at fucking Black Ops, but I was actually pretty godly in Soul Calibur V. Honestly, one day, maybe I'll buy up another PS3 or a 360 and buy a copy of Soul Calibur V, and maybe I can play that game with the subs who actually do play fighting games, but yeah, um, that's when my fighting game craze began, and my shooter phase ended for a while um and it was all due to how people treated cod and i i, I it's kind of hard to really go on what exactly it was but it's just that and the people in my area man and it, it, it i didn't want to be a part of the drama and that's my thing uh i i don't know if i made it clear to you guys you know my fellow apv subs but the last thing I want to do is cause drama. Yeah, it might be funny to troll someone, and it might be funny to, you know, just do stupid shit in general, and, you know, talk junk and all that shit, but it's all in good fun to me. Like, if I'm trolling someone or if I'm talking smack during a game, it's mostly due to two things. Either A, I'm doing it because I think it's funny, or B, it's mostly because I know I'm good at that game that I'm playing, and I know that I can't be beaten in that game. But, it's n I never try to make it go anywhere beyond that. I try not to, like, like if you look at APB, like, if you look at the more, most recent uploads, or any of the uploads for the past since this game came out on PS4, you'll see plenty of videos of people being exposed and all that shit, and, you know, that's part of the drama that I don't want to be a part of. Like, I have no beef with any APB YouTubers and the beef that there is, which I can't really name off anyone for real. There's been a few people who came onto my page looking to start shit and I wasn't having it, so I basically prevented it from involving anything beyond what they were trying to start, which was petty bullshit. So yeah, what I was uh, elaborating on was basically cod and you know my fun times and bad times with it um despite everything you know good and bad cod sort of has you know a place in my heart i suppose and i know that sounds kind of gay <laughs> but uh cod is sort of nostalgic and you know it's not even sort of nostalgic it's very nostalgic and that's why you know despite how bad some of the recent injuries are i still try to play them to enjoy them and they weren't quite the same um, I will say that Black Ops 3 and uh, Infinite Warfare and World War 2 were decent games. Like, they're, they're not nearly as high in value as I thought COD 2, 3, or no, okay, 3 was kind of bad. Not high in value as COD 2, 1, 4, World at War, Modern Warfare, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, MW3, you know, and any of the ones before Ghost were, but they were still, you know, stepped in the right direction, especially compared to Ghost, and I, I can have fun with them, but I guess most people forget that when I do play COD, I'm not really taking it very seriously. That's why it's important to highlight that bullshit that that one dude who came into the stream uh, started saying. Like, I, I made it very clear in that stream. I don't, I don't know why I'm mentioning this. It was, I guess it was kind of you know, an interesting moment in my uh, YouTube career where it's like, fam, it may be hard to tell, I don't care. Like, I'm beyond taking sh video games as serious as I used to. Like, I might get into, you know, that hypeness where I'm starting to shout because, you know, video games are fun. But 
when people come onto your channel and they start going around and saying, Hey, you know, you're bad at this game. Maybe some people aren't trying to be competitive. Maybe some people are just trying to have fun. I mean, to give you a good example of one of my favorite YouTubers, there's uh, Dashy Games. He makes it very clear that he's fucking garbage at gaming, but he is funny, and that's what makes his channel so good. It's watching his reactions to everything he does in his game, and he fucking nails it in the personality department, and, you know, I inspire to be that good one day, where, you know, I don't necessarily need to do something specific, it's my personality in display that's making people watch me. But, uh, yeah, um, COD, nostalgia, you know, don't take shit seriously. Um, and shits, I don't know where I'm going with this anymore. I've been talking for 20 minutes, this is probably the longest discussion video I've ever had, I'm rambling at this point. Uh, hopefully when I run through this uh, before I upload it, I, I actually made sense of what I was talking about. So yeah, thanks for watching and stick it around up to this point, and I will see you guys in the next video, I suppose. Yeah.